What are the challenges to building name recognition and how are you addressing them? It's a, it's a huge challenge and, and everybody kind of faces it. But when you're running for such a local office that you're not getting big coverage in newspapers, you're not on TV, you're not really on the radio, it is something you just have to tirelessly, tirelessly work towards. So I've been doing a couple things. One, obviously, I've been standing outside of subway stations in front of grocery stores on weekends just day in and day out with signs and so on. We have a street team of uh, high school kids who goes out and puts up uh, posters with my face on it in store windows. We're phone banking registered Democrats to try to raise our name ID. I've spent a lot of you know time and energy on social media, and I think at this point now you know we're on Instagram. Every time I go out, I send a you know a tweet or an Instagram or a Facebook. I'm on this corner. Or I'm here. Or I'm there, and and it's been great because now people are organically just tracking the campaign. And I have people who show up at these locations now because they've wanted to like meet or talk about an issue. So now they just show up. Um, so, so that's been great, and you know, the social media side of it is something that's you know doesn't cost a lot of money, but can actually have a big impact. Yeah. And we've seen from the campaign side. I mean, I think I almost have more Facebook followers in my campaign than all five of my opponents combined, yeah. and it's because we're spending so much energy on social media to really reach people. So, you know, that's only going to take you so far. Standing on the streets is only going to take you so far. Visiting senior centers will only take you so far. But collectively, I'm hoping to get as much name recognition as possible to get the votes we need for for the primary. And has that translated into opportunities for free appearances on radio or on television? It's, it's interesting because just being out there, and, and it's one of these things every morning, if I'm it's like 6.30 in the morning and I'm exhausted, is it really worth going out to the subway today? And then I think about the day prior or the week prior, and you know, I went to met that one person who agreed to do a house party for us if I wasn't out there. I went to run into you know, this one person who has a small business, or I went to run into that parent who had you know, that great story about, you know, her school being overcrowded. So every time you get out there, you learn something new. Uh -huh. And it, it just constantly leads to more opportunities. So you have to show up. You have to put yourself out there.